بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد. so now we finish فصاحة الكلمة. so we understand when a word is فصيح the word itself. now when a كلام كلام means the entire sentence whether it's اسمية فعلية إن شيء خبرية the كلام itself how is the كلام فصيح. so understand that we have to remember that there are three rules as well here. the common sense rule is the four common sense is what that the كلام can only be فصيح when the words themselves are also what? It makes sense, isn't it? So you have correct words. Now you put those words together and they should not have any of these three faults. What are these three faults? The first is tanafurul kalimat. Not tanafurul huruf. Tanafuru means what? Uh, incongruity. But in huruf is that the letters in one word are hard to pronounce. Tanafurul kalimat means what? That the words put together are hard to pronounce. We discuss that in detail. Dhu'af ta'alif Dhu'af or da'af ta'alif is that it has a violation of the rules of nahwa. And ta'qeed can either mean ambiguity you're not sure what you're trying to say or it's a peculiar word order. The word order is not is very strange. And we discuss each one individually. So, what is it saying here? The summary of this is that the fasahatul kalima has four elements. Fasahatul kalami Fasahatul kalam that the fasaha and the eloquence of the word, not the word, sorry, the eloquence of the speech, of the sentence, is salamatuha, is its being free from the tanafur of the words, mushtami is a hal of kalimat. Is, that the wor is the word being free from incongruity, meaning a difficulty or, or a strange sound of the words all together. Being free of tanafur, of unfamiliarity or incongruity or, or weird sounds. Wa min dha'fi or min dha'fi ta'alif. Or from dha'fu ta'alif, it can be either dha'f or dha'f. Both ways you can pronounce it. Dha'fu and dha'fu are both masr of dha'ufa yad'ufu. That means what? Against the rules of nahwa. Dha'fu ta'alif. And ta'alif literally means composition. Meaning the way the words are put together in nahwa, it, the rules are broken. So, and the, the uh, other one is وَمِنَ التَّعْقِيدِ And it's free from تَعْقِيد Now تَعْقِيد have to, because تَعْقِيد literally means complicate or, to, or how to intricate Okay, and the two types of تَعْقِيد to translate it If you say ambiguous or peculiar word order, it'll be confusing because it's both, both are included in this So I'll just leave تَعْقِيد at تَعْقِيد at the moment Okay And مَأَ along with فَصَاحَةِ كَلِمَاتِهِ Along with the eloquence of its words individually. Okay, let's translate this again. So the translation is Fasahatul Kalam Salamatuhu, not Salamatuha. Fasahatul Kalam, the eloquence of the speech is the Kalam being free from Tanafurul Kalimati Mushtami'an, Mushtami'atan, Wamin Dafi Ta'alif, Wamin Al Ta'qeed, along with this. Do you get the structure? So, is the word or the speech being free? From incongruity of the words put together. When they put together, they don't sound strange. And the kalam being free from uh, violation of nahwa rules. And free from ta'qeed. We'll, we'll, we'll explain that in detail later on. And along with its words being fasih. So, the, yeah, so I mean the four things. Now, the words must be fasih themselves. Then you put them together, they don't sound strange. They don't go against nahwa and they're not ambiguous and, and vague as to what is being meant and what is being said. That makes sense? Yeah?